Welcome back to my channel. I am Ebony Yvonne, your favorite business coach and lunch strategist here in these internet streets. I use my background, my education in business management as well as my MBA, my professional work experience in human resources, in instructional design as well as data analysis and my almost decade it seems crazy still when i say that of entrepreneurial experience to help online service providers to build sustainable online businesses welcome to lunchmas this is my very own personal spin on vlogmas where i am bringing you 12 days of lunch strategies sales tactics and marketing tips to help make your next lunch your best lunch. If you are looking for additional support for your next lunch, make sure you check out the links in the description box. I have tons of resources there that are available for you to help you out. In today's video, we are talking about how to build your wait list for your course, your membership, your um, whatever lunch you have coming up. So in my previous lunch strategy videos that I've done in the past, one question that has come up a lot is about what goes on your course wait list page, um, what should you have, how should you structure it, and just all the deets, right? <laughs> so that's what I wanna get into in this video, giving you some best practices and just really helping you to structure your page so that you can build it with targeted leads that will translate into paying clients clients. So some of you may not know, but one thing that I offer in my business is a full service lunch support for um, my advanced clients. And oftentimes when I am reviewing their sales pages, looking at their assets, then I will notice like, why is this written like this, right? I will see people who have um, wait lists that is all about them. Like sign up for my wait list. I'm gonna be dropping a new product soon. And that type of language isn't going to get you sales. I've seen people who have a course wait list or a lunch wait list where the landing page is literally like you have to scroll down and it has like the header. It has all this information, who we are, what we do, yada, 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 do this, follow us on social media. And that is not how your wait list should be designed, especially if you want to get sales, especially if you want to get people to actually join your wait list. So I talked about this in a previous video where when you build in the sales funnel video I talked about how as people progress on their customer journey to getting to the sales they're going through your sales funnel every step in your funnel should only have one clear call to action right and the same is true when it comes to building your lunch waitlist on your lunch waitlist page you don't want to have any distractions you want it to be flow free and you want to have one single call to action what is the call to action to sign up for the waitlist you can say that a million different ways but the action that you want them to take is to actually enter their contact information their name email address maybe even phone number so that they can opt in to your waitlist and be notified for your lunch right so keep that in mind as I go through the different components of your waitlist and what it is that you need to have. So let's get into some best practices when it comes to setting up the actual landing page for your waitlist. First things first is you want to make sure that you keep the copy, the actual words on your sales page, very brief and succinct and to the point. You don't want to go on and on and on about how awesome you are. You want to tell people why they should sign up for the list. You want to let them know what they're getting and you want to make it about the viewer. So when I say make it about the viewer, you want to incentivize them to actually enter their contact information. So why should they join your wait list? Uh, I know you want them to join your wait list so that they can buy your product or service, but what's in it for your customer? 
as people in general go throughout society most people the average person is always thinking like what's in it for me so on your sales page you want to let them know why they should join your waitlist are they going to get early access to your products and services are they going to get a special discount are they going to get some type of bonus or free gift for being on the wait list and being one of the first people to enroll right you want to have some type of incentive to get them to enter the contact information and want to be on the list incentivize them all right in addition to that when it comes to setting up your wait list something else that you want to do is you want to eliminate all the other distractions so typically on a web page it has a header it has a footer and you want to remove those so that People don't have the option to go check out your homepage, go check out your blog or whatever tabs you may have on your menu. The only option they have when they land on your, your wait list is to enter their contact information to join the wait list. Eliminate all the other distractions, the header, the footer, any other links, the social shares, so that they don't get distracted and they actually take the call to action that you want them to take in addition to that is for the most part you want to eliminate the scroll bar if people have to scroll down on your waitlist page it is too long sis sis <laughs> a waitlist should not be that long you don't need a scroll bar on the side all right your waitlist should literally say what they're opting into a brief succinct description about why they're joining your list with an incentive and a clear call to action that says hey if you want to be the first to get notified enter your contact information below and then you should have your email subscription box embedded or your page set up to where they can enter their contact information at a minimum i always tell people you should get their name you should get their email address but these days if you're using text messaging text messaging marketing you also want to ask for their phone number and then sometimes on a sales page i may also ask for a birthday as well as break out instead of them just entering their name and the full name i will have two boxes one for first name and one for last name as separate and i'll make first name required last name optional i'll make phone number optional sometime um, i've tested this out with different clients i know this that some target markets still have a little resistance to giving up their phone number and then other clients they have no problem at all like even when phone number is optional most people still enter it so just to start out i would recommend having phone number optional not a required field and then see how many people are actually opting in and if you're getting a really great opt-in rate for your phone number field then you could just make a required required so that everyone ha has to enter their phone number last but not least when it comes to best practices for creating your waitlist page obviously you have to have your waitlist synced to some type of email service provider so that when people enter their contact information they are actually added to your email list and you fire off some type of confirmation email or email sequence to confirm that they are on your list and they're enrolled in next steps if you have them for people who enroll all right so those are the best practices that i have for you i know that this has been a very popular question that has come up a lot in the comments of previous videos so if you still have questions about how to build your wait list then drop your questions below in the comments as well and then i will either answer them or i will make another video now before we get out of here i do want to show you an example of an actual wait list that i did for not this black friday but last year's black friday sale where i did a vip list for black friday 
and basically what I did is I gave people early access to shop my Black Friday sale. So I actually called it Pink Friday, where people got access the Friday before Black Friday to shop my um, promotion early before the general public. So I'm sharing this as an idea that you can actually use in your own business, but also just to kind of show you the language and how simple your waitlist page actually is, okay? So here is an example of the landing page for my Black Friday sale last year. You can see it has a headline up top and it just says, jump to the front of the line with a Black Friday VIP pass. And then you see I have that brief summary where I say, hey, join our exclusive Black Friday VIP list to jump to the front of the line and get early access get early pink friday access to black friday deals and save big snag early access to huge black friday savings by entering your contact entering your name and email below that is it that is all i had on the sales page and then just the opt-in box that was linked to my email service provider which i use convert kit i love them i've been using them for a couple years and no, this video is not sponsored. Thanks so much for stopping by my internet home. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those notifications so you will be the first one to get notified when I upload the next Lunchmas video tomorrow. Bye, y'all.